Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steve Taylor. I know you know this guy, but if you don't, he is the director of our rental division. Thought we'd talk a little bit about uh, gas regulators. And what we have here is we actually have a regulating station, gas regulating station that we have for our rental boilers. Yep. And when people rent the boilers, they don't have a gas regulator set up properly, then they will rent this from you, right? That's correct. Tell me what the gas regulator does. Um, all these burners are designed to have a steady state flow pressure-wise, gas uh, pressure feeding into them, and so we have to provide regulators. We never know what the, what the customer's pressure is mm -hmm. until they give us a call. So then, you know, one job will be 10 pounds, next job will be 95 pounds. Okay. So we've got to have regulators to set that down to exactly what the, uh, the burner needs to operate properly. Now most, uh, obviously, boiler rooms have gas regulators in them. Yeah. Um, so in, in this particular case, really, how, how does it actually work here, Stephen? We've got pressure coming in here, so we've got a pressure gauge so we know what the pressure coming in is. The regulator, there's an adjustment screw under here, and we look at the, we have a downstream control line that feeds back pressure to this regulator that it helps it set the pressure on the diaphragm itself. And then we put spring pressure down on that diaphragm to put the outlet pressure where we want it. So we've got a diaphragm sitting in there, we got pressure coming under it, we got pressure coming on top of it, those equalize to get us the outlet pressure we're looking for, and that spring adjustment is what sets that pressure. What is the reason to actually have this gas pressure lower than what the supply is coming in? Be because that's what the burners are rated for. If the okay. burner's rated for seven pounds inlet and you feed 15 to it, then you're gonna be way over firing the boiler, you have zero control over the combustion, and it, it causes all kinds of problems. Safety issues as well, combustion safety issues. You just can't, you have to have it regulated in, in the inlet pressure has to be regulated. I know we run again, uh, up against this all the time, and that is uh, you go out, put in a new line, and there's actually some slag that gets in, in this. And what, yeah. what kind of take us through that? Um, yeah, we, you anytime they, you, you run a, a new gas line, you need to do a couple different things. One, you really need to have a, a strainer on the inlet. The other thing, most sites will, will force you to blow that line, do, do a, a, a gas line blow, and they'll blow all that slag out before they hook this up. We just had one three days ago where they didn't do that. It locked up, they open it up, it's full of weld slag inside the regulator. That keeps that regulator from closing down, so then when the boiler cycles off, that outlet pressure equals the inlet pressure, and like on this job, we had 95 pounds coming in, so then we started blowing you know, safeties and all kinds of issues. It just causes all kinds of problems. So you have to have that, that cleaned up to make sure you don't have that. I mean, you think about you hooking it up, if they're hooking, dragging, four inch pipe around, they're gonna drag it through the gravel, they're gonna be cutting on those lines, welded back together. That line is full of garbage before they ever hook it up. So they've gotta blow that line out and get all that junk cleaned out of it. Once the line gets put in though, you're, is there any maintenance that has to be done with the, uh, with the gas regulator at all through the year? Typically not during the year. As long as that thing's operating, leave it alone. It, 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 there, it, unless you have a disruption in the line feeding it, there's really nothing else. You have a little bit of meal scale come off the pipe, mm -hmm. it's not enough to hurt that thing. It's gonna pass it right on through, it's gonna go through the boiler, it's not gonna be an issue. Okay. When I'm looking at this design, Stephen, just curious, why is it actually set up like this? These regulators are designed where you have to have so many pipe diameters upstream, which is upstream this direction, and so many downstream without a turn in order for the regulator to operate properly, and that's to, to prevent turbulence. If you have a 90 right here coming down and then going into that regulator, it's gonna cause turbulence, and that regulator won't pick up properly. It, it just won't see the gas pressure properly. Gas, gas is gonna be doing this inside there, and it causes all kinds of problems. That's the reason we, this is for a rental application, we set these up like this so that when it gets on the job site, they can't put it in wrong. All they do is drop the blind flanges off, hook it up, it, all the dimensions are done, we've done the calculations, it's perfect, ready for them to go. Well, appreciate it, that's the gas regulating station and we've kind of made it easy so that if people do not have a, a gas regulator to be able to, to equal the supply that we need for, <clears throat> for our boiler, we've got them taken care of. So, sure appreciate you hanging out with us and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Stephen hanging out with us, talk us a little bit about the gas pressure regulating station. Now, you can always go to BoilerWarehouse.com, and we've got a lot of these things that you can buy, of course, but of course this one is for rent. Um, so if you don't have something, you make sure that you ask. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like our videos, maybe share something for us. We'll talk to you next time on The Boiling Point.